Good afternoon, gentlemen. How's it going? I hope each and every one of you are having a phenomenal Monday afternoon. Now, currently it's a Tuesday for me. It's a Tuesday afternoon. I'm sitting here thinking about the two exams I have to write and the final project I have to write. And now I'm thinking about how glorious it's going to be when I'm done that. In about a week's time, when this episode has been released, I will be completely done with school. It's going to be phenomenal. Christmas break, everything's just, it's going to be perfect. I'm so excited for all of that stuff. But it is episode 16. I am here to deliver some high quality Minecraft content. Maybe not high quality, but some Minecraft content. We're going to be working on some cool stuff today. I have a house I want to build in the marketplace, the market area that we worked on in the previous episode. And then, as I mentioned in the previous episode, I want to build Asgard from the Marvel Cinematic universe in Minecraft. It's going to be a very daunting, very difficult task, but I want to begin that project today and we'll see where we get to. Now, before we get into any of that other Minecraft stuff, I just want to say thank you so much to each and every one of you for 200 subscribers. It literally feels like two weeks ago we were at 100 and while these aren't exactly grand numbers, they're not hundreds of thousands or hundreds of millions like we will get to eventually, I'm just very grateful. Seeing all you guys commenting is just, it's such a great experience. I'm getting feedback. It actually motivates me me to play more video games because there's things I can do you know sometimes you go through these droughts and you're like what do I build next but you guys just give me so many ideas and I want to build cool things for you guys to see so it just gives me a lot of motivation personally when I subscribe to YouTube channels it's very difficult for me to click that subscribe button there has to be something outstanding about that content creator I have to like either them or their content and maybe that's how you guys work too so if that is I'm just very grateful that you guys click the subscribe button grateful that you're watching grateful that you like the content thank you so much to each and every one of you and I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, so here we are after that time lapse. As you can see, the house is mostly complete. I basically have it finished. There's still some details I have to add. We have the chimney in here, the roof's done. I have to add this tarp over here with the wool blocks or whatever to kind of make this stall or stand, whatever we're calling these, I'm not sure yet. Anyways, though, the house is looking pretty good. It's kind of different. I used birch wood, so it's very light. It's very different from the rest of the houses. The roof, not done yet. I still have to add some slabs and stuff like that, some leaves. I basically have to detail the house, make it look like it's kind of worn in here like it's lived in so I'm gonna do that quickly I'm gonna finish up some of the minor details and then I'll be back with you guys Okay, so here we are. As you can see, I added the tarp there, the stall, the wool, whatever, okay? It's kind of like a bookshop here. You have different books and bookshelves to buy. Not exactly the greatest details when it comes to a salesman, and I kind of need to add a door here. I don't know what I was thinking. There's not really a way to get in here, but the house is complete now. That was a very quick building transition thing. I didn't really walk you through the process or anything like that at all, but when do I really do that? It doesn't matter. You guys can just see. It's another house. It's pretty generic. It's just here to fill in some space, make the city look more whole, and kind of spam leaves everywhere to make it look overgrown I guess but the roof design it's kind of similar to what we did at the first house over there now it's just kind of like a different kind of weird amount of wood kind of stacked up on each other I don't know how to describe that roof design and I'm actually gonna move this right here just to remind myself I kind of want to have a thinner alley so it can block the house that side isn't really beautiful anyways though we've got a chimney here just like the other house and then if you come back here to the back you can see there's also a door right here that kind of leads out over here and it's just so accessibility is a thing so you can walk up these stairs and it makes sense because you know this house is kind of in this weird position where you can access it from the front and the back there's not really a backyard anyways though another house built Let's move on to something else. Moving away from the castle market area that we've been working on in the past few episodes, the next project I'm going to be working on is going to require a bit of sand, so I'm going to go over the desert and harvest a bunch of it. I'm primarily going to be using the sand as glass, so I'm going to need to smelt it down. I'm just going to mine up a bunch of this fuel and then throw it in the auto smelter. All right, so placing in all the coal that we just gathered up, I'm also going to place in the sand. I gathered about three shulker boxes or so of sand. I'm just going to smelt down one of them. I don't need that much glass. 
All right, the glass is done cooking up. This should last just for a good while. All right, so here we are going into the end. This is my end tunnel that connects us to the end portal room. And we obviously worked on the end portal room a few episodes ago. I'm sure you guys have all seen this if you've been watching my episodes. If not, that's what it looks like. I don't know, maybe I'll show it in a world tour or something like that. Anyways, we're in the end here. As you can see, this is where we spawn in. We're on this little pad right here. And obviously my end is very barren. It's very ugly, but right here, this is where you spawn in on this, you know, obsidian five by five pad and unfortunately I'm actually not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that you can't move this pad. I wish I could move it back like 50 blocks because I'm gonna flash up an image right here. This is what Asgard looks like in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This is from, I believe, Thor Ragnarok, and this is what I'm gonna be trying to build. Now, obviously it's gonna be a ginormous task. It's gonna be a huge project. We're obviously not even gonna get close to finishing it in this episode, but I wanna start off by building the bridge. And like I said, I wish I could move this pad about 50 blocks back in this direction because I want this bridge to be long. In the picture, it's very long and it leads up to this very grand gold structure. Now that gold structure is gonna be a monumental task in itself because first of all, it's built out of gold and second of all, it's huge, it's on this floating island. We're gonna have to terraform this whole thing. I'm probably gonna have to get rid of all of this end stone because of that pad that you can't move. I wanna build a long bridge and this island's kind of in the way. I'll see, I'm not sure exactly how things are gonna line up. I'm gonna have to mark some stuff out. But again, it's a gold structure. We have a gold block in Minecraft. It's pretty hideous, you know, it kind of does resemble gold, but it's not exactly what I need to build out of, you know, I need an actual material that has stairs and slabs, so I have absolutely no idea what we're going to be building this island out of, this whole structure out of, I'm just very lost, I'm probably going to have to do some kind of a texture change, I actually have a few ideas for something like that, but I'm not sure, I'm, I've never changed up textures in Minecraft, I've never made my own texture pack, so I might have to mess around with that, I'm pretty good with Photoshop, not exactly great, but I'll have to see, anyways though, I want to get this bridge done, so I'm I'm gonna destroy what I have now. I'm gonna start working on this rainbow bridge. It should look good, you know. I have a theory for it. I have a basic idea. I might go into a creative test world and work some things out, but I'm gonna try my very best. I'll be back with you guys once I have something. All right, so I already ran into the end island. It's extremely annoying to mine end stone. I really do wish that it was like regular stone. If you hooked up a haste two beacon, it was instant mine, but it isn't. I mean, it's gonna be a little bit faster. I guess I should hook up this beacon. We're also gonna be having to mine out those obsidian towers, so hopefully this helps a bit, but it's gonna be a long, tedious grind, and I hate end stone, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I, I hate end stone. As you can see, it's extremely slow and painful to mine. There's so much of it, it's everywhere, and life isn't great. Obviously, I could use TNT, but I'm pretty sure this block is fairly blast resistant, so that's probably not going to work out. Okay, so this is what the bridge is looking like. Obviously, I haven't done much, but I just wanted to show you guys a small sample size, and I think it's looking pretty good. Obviously, it's not a perfect replica. It's Minecraft. This is going to be very difficult to achieve, but at least for the Rainbow Road, I think it actually looks great. I think that the black glass layer with the different colors of glass under it, you know, stained glass panes and all that stuff, they really helped me achieve the look I was going for. At first, I was going to use like wool or some kind of terracotta or clay, and I think this looks a lot better. I think once I remove all the end stone and it's just void under, it's going to look a lot better as well. Now, as for the pillars holding up the actual bridge, I went with these black stone pillars. Now, obviously, they're not gold, and it's very difficult, again, to work with gold, so maybe I will do those texture changes. Maybe I'll make this black stone gold or something like that. I guess that would ruin the prison, so I have to find a block that wouldn't ruin my previous builds, but I don't know. I think these black stone pillars actually look good. They kind of work. They kind of look as though they are some kind of alien material, not really found on earth or anything like that and so in a way they do fit for asgard but they're obviously not gold uh, i just don't know maybe i'll do those texture changes i'll update you guys as i go Back to mining some more endstone, yay. I kind of got tired of mining endstone, so I crafted up a bunch of TNT. Let's see if this works. As I said earlier, I don't think it will. Endstone is fairly blast resistant, as I said, and yeah, it didn't even change, so I'm gonna have to manually light up all of these blocks. Hopefully it gets rid of a decent chunk of land, but I don't think it will. All right, so yeah, that was kind of a fail. It didn't really light up every single one of these TNT blocks, and it didn't really get rid of a lot of land, but I'm gonna go ahead and stand back here. Yeah, it's just, it's not doing much, and it kind of makes everything messy, Endermen keep attacking me because the TNT keeps hitting them. Obviously, TNT isn't that expensive. I did just craft up maybe like three or four stacks of blocks, but I could hook up like one of those slime block duper dropper TNT things, and yeah, that would probably get the job done, and obviously it's 
a lot cheaper because it's duping TNT. I don't have to craft it up. Maybe I'll do that in a future episode. I don't really mess with those slime block machines too much, so I'm not really sure how they work. I would have to look up a tutorial. And for right now, I'm just going to continue spamming TNT until I run out. I don't really have that much, as I said, three or four stacks of blocks. And yeah, we're going to see. We're going to use all this up, and then I guess I'll go back to mining it manually in a future episode or maybe in the next episode. Maybe I'll hook up one of those slime block dupers. Okay, if I want to get progress done on this bridge, I'm really going to have to settle down. I'm going to pop on a movie and just start mining. It's obviously going to take a long time, but who knows? I'm going to work on this for the next few days and see what I can do, see how much endstone I can get rid of. All right, so as you can see, things are looking a little bit different, and my voice should sound pretty different because a few days have passed. This has been no short task. It's taken a very long while. I absolutely hate endstone, okay? I don't know why I'm doing this project. Just this little bit right here took me like, I don't know, I was doing it in bits and uh, Bob, I don't know, I, just chunks out of my day. Whenever I had some extra time, I would come and mine some endstone, put some music on or something like that. Honestly, while I was studying for exams, I would just kind of do it in between there to get my mind off things. And yeah, it's not fun. As you could see, we've taken out a good chunk and maybe it's not a huge chunk or anything like that. And also these bedrock blocks, I, I think I'm going to take them out with creative. I think I've decided on that. Again, if you guys don't like that, let me know. But I don't know, stuff like this, these portals, maybe I'll just keep them at the back or something like that. I'll find a way to hide them or something like that in one of the structures but for now i think i am going to remove them just to make things look better but anyways like i was saying that chunk of endstone it took a long time this whole island mass is going to take a longer time so if you guys have any other strategies or any ways to get rid of endstone please do let me know you know what, now that I finished that extremely grindy task, I kind of want to take out one of these obsidian pillars. I want to see what it looks like when we remove one of these. I want to see how long it takes to remove one of these because we have, what, like eight or nine of these. I'm just going to remove a smaller one, see how long that takes. And when I'm done that, which should take a while, I'll be back. All right, and it's the next day again, so as you can see, we completely demolished this tower. It's no longer here. This took a while, I'm not going to lie. Look at all the obsidian we have, though, so I think it was worth it. It did take a few hours, so the bigger towers are going to take even longer. Not too much longer, I don't think, but they are going to be a bit longer. Anyways, though, now that we've cleared some space, I guess I could try to build something, and that's the bedrock I'm talking about, those little blocks. I'm sure you guys knew what I was talking about, but those are the ones I want to remove. Anyways, though, I'm going to see if I can make any more progress right now or if we're going to go do something else in the world. Okay, so as you can see in my inventory, I have a few different golden blocks here, and I've actually been doing some texture changes with the endstone, and I figured endstone is the perfect block since we're getting rid of all of the endstone on this island, and we're getting rid of, well all the endstone on this island, so we're not going to see it anywhere. I don't really use this block anywhere, so I kind of took the regular gold block and I kind of mimicked that with these other blocks. In my opinion, this looks pretty bad. I don't know. It's I, I don't know. I, I think that the regular endstone... Look, oh, yeah, that don't look at that, okay? Um, yeah, That's going to be gone. Okay, I'm going to get rid of it. It all looks like sponges and cheese or something like that. Extremely hideous, but I'll be getting rid of it. Anyways, though, the endstone block that kind of looks like cobble, I think that looks pretty good. It does look like a gold cobblestone or something like that, but the bricks, I think there's maybe just a little bit too much of this brown in here so I don't know I may be altering that up a bit I'm still not sure should I use the basalt or blackstone whatever this is or should I change it out you know let me maybe change out one of these or two of these posts and then we can see what it looks like all right, yeah, so that's what it's looking like. Again, the texture isn't great, but I do feel like it is getting the captured look or the desired look that we're looking for, I guess. It is a gold block and it does have stairs and slabs. I don't know, I still think I'm going to play around with it. Maybe I'll mix in a few blocks with the regular endstone or something like that. It just doesn't look great. Maybe I do need to remove a bit more of that brown. I don't know, there's just something about this that's a little ugly to me. I don't know, is that, but what do you guys like more? Do you like the black stone or do you like the end stone modified texture? Should I revert all the end stone textures back to regular? Should I work on them a bit more? Let me know. I mean, this is a gold block, like I said before, so it kind of does work, but again, kind of doesn't. So I don't know, I guess I'll play around with it a bit more. Maybe I'll adjust the textures a bit more and um, I don't know, maybe we'll work on something else. I'm kind of done with this whole end thing today. I've been looking at this end stone for way too long. All right, here we are above the roof of the nether, and this is one of my main nether hub tunnels. Now, right here, I kind of marked this out a few episodes ago. It's going to lead to the wither skeleton farm that we kind of remodeled in a previous episode. If you were there, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, this tunnel is basically going to branch off, and then it's going to go into like a wither skeleton themed tunnel that's going to take me right over here where I still have to destroy. I want to get like a three by three area right here. I have to break through the nether ceiling. That's going to be a colossal task, and I'm kind of done with grindy projects. So for right now, I'm just going to build up this tunnel. I want it 
to be, as I said, like a wither themed kind of like hellish lava kind of theme to it. And um, yeah, I'm just going to build this out. Don't really know what I'm talking about anymore. Let me just start building. All right, so I kind of got this link or connector right here, I guess. It's kind of like a pit stop to transition into the different hallways. And yeah, it's kind of just like a boxy square room. And then I started to lay out the floor design. So obviously we're going for some magma blocks here because of what I said, you know, this hellish kind of wither, nether, hell kind of realm-ish design. I don't know, whatever. Um, there's also some gaps between the magma blocks. I plan to put some lava in there just to make it a little bit more dynamic. And then I'm going to cover it up with this black glass here to make it look, I guess, see-through. It's just so mobs don't spawn. And so we don't get hurt by all the magma blocks. Anyways, though, I'm going to get the walls up and the ceiling and uh, we'll see what it looks like. All right, quick progress update. I basically have finished the floor. I just need a bit more glass. I need to run to the overworld and grab a bit more. I put the lava in. It's looking pretty good. It obviously just adds a little bit of detail and it's a little bit more dynamic because some of the lava is flowing. These gas are pretty annoying. They keep destroying all of the glass I put down on the floor, but I still need to get the roof in. I've kind of started to work on the walls and I'm going to go for something pretty simple. You know, I just have this like strip of nether brick at the bottom. And then for the actual walls themselves, I just use black concrete. It's very dark and kind of pops. It's very very different because the nether brick have like a texture to them and then the black concrete doesn't it's just plain so kind of like the way that's looking I'm going to do a bit more work and then I'll update you guys all right, so it's completely done. Well, basically, I still need to do the end bit and I need to, you know, dig through the bedrock. So that's what I'm going to be doing in the next episode. Don't really want to do that now. I've been doing, as I said earlier, grindy work all day. So I'm not really going to start off a project as big as breaking a three by three block of bedrock all the way down into the tunnel. And then I need to connect those two tunnels with like a vertical tube or something like that. I also added carpet to the top of here. I ran out of black carpet, so I'm going to have to pick up a bit more of that. As you can see, there's like a skeleton in here. And I'm pretty sure you need two layers of black carpet to stop mob spawns. It could be one, but I'm just going to do two just in case. If I just need one, let me know. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, just to stop mob spawns, to stop gas spawns on other tunnels, I kind of have slabs or just something to stop the mob spawns. Anyways, though, it's complete. It's done. Uh, moving on to something else. I forgot to show you guys this is what the pit stop looks like. It's obviously very simple. It gets the job done, and I think it looks pretty cool. All right, gentlemen, unfortunately, I've run out of time, and I guess today's video wasn't exactly the most productive thing ever, but I feel as though I've laid out some pretty solid infrastructure for the end base. Asgard is going to be really cool. I'm really starting to see a lot of potential here, and I'm extremely motivated to keep working to creating an epic version of Asgard that actually looks great in Minecraft. Now I also need you guys to let me know what you think of this golden endstone texture. I know it kind of looks like a sponge, but I feel like that's because you're looking at so much of it. Keep in mind when I get rid of all of this island, when I excavate all of the endstone, I'll be building with more natural blocks like grass and stone, so adding a bit of this golden endstone as an accent block for the main structures might actually end up looking good, but again it might not, so let me know your thoughts on the endstone, should I keep it, should I change it up, give me your perspective. But speaking of endstone, I'm going to continue mining it off camera between episodes and I might even end up live streaming me mining endstone. So if I do end up live streaming, then I'll post a short video letting you guys know where and when. And other than that, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to see you in the next one. And I really do hope you're having a great day. Christmas is this week. Just have a great time, guys. Life is pretty fun. Minecraft's great. Just enjoy yourselves.